Hello, YouTube community. My name is the Jack Number Thirteen, and we're back with the story of Talison in Yu-Gi-Oh: The Rose, The Duelists of the Roses. And I fucked up the name, but whatever. Uh, left, we left off trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing with the deck, and I pretty much understand it now. Um, Stonehenge is over here. I don't know if we can ever go back to it, but whatever. Um, so let's go back down this way. Can I go to this destination here? Can I go back to Brest? No, I can't. Okay. It's a pretty cool map, pretty cool map. Where can we go? These are uncharted waters. I'm guessing this is the British Isles or whatever. Um, yeah. And I think that's what this is. Okay. So. I tried to figure out... Um, all the different things that I could do, and right now I can do absolutely nothing except for battle somebody. So we'll battle uh, Weevil Underwood because he's the closest to my level. And uh, Weevil will have a uh, different character voice. <laughs> so you're the legendary Rose Duelist. Prepare to face the sting in my insect deck. <laughs> Alright, so that's uh, that dude. Weevil. What an asshole. And this is going to be a longer video. I might have to divide it into a couple because I realized that dueling is going to take a long ass time. So the illusory gentleman. All right. So I can move him. I can summon him. I can get the details, or I can edit. Well, I can't edit right now. Oh, I ended my turn. Fuck. That's what that meant. Okay. Well, what an idiot. He just destroyed one of his cards and moved his guy and moved that up. Okay. Well, now I have a bit more wiggle room for what I can move around with and summon. So we'll summon a nice little... Yeah. We'll summon a nice little thingamajigger here. Alright, power-ups. We have the Ancient Brain, Mech Mole Zombie, Komori Dragon, and Fairy of the Fountain. So let's check out the details. Power-up cards for each card. And none of them right now can use my beautiful black pendant, I don't think. Right? No, they cannot. Alright, so uh, I can summon any one of these cards right now. Let us check out the uh, special information. Win turn face up in battle, transform an opponent to into a monster, a zombie monster. Don't like that idea. Okay, so, wait a minute. Uh, leader abilities don't matter right now because I don't have anything I can do. Basic info. Okay, uh, that shows me nothing that I didn't already know. Alright, so this can be combinable, but with what? Alright, so we can do that. No, we can't. Okay. See, I can't remember how to combine things right now, and I don't think I have anything I can combine anyway. Um, but I just wanted to check it out. Anyway, so we'll probably place down our. Uh, Beautiful Komori Dragon right there in front of us, just like that, and uh, we'll end our turn. Let this uh, fucker decide what he wants to do. Act like an asshole. Yeah, go ahead and move that into a defensive position. Get yourself trapped into a motherfucking corner. Like an idiot. Okay. A summon monster. We're going to set one right here. Alright. So now we have the Ancient Elf. Let's check the details. Alright. It cannot be combined... Can it? No, it cannot. Alright, there's no power-ups that we have at the moment that we can use. And so we just have basic information. So we're going to put down Fairy of the Fountain, which is a four-star monster. Yes. Alright. And uh, I think we'll end our turn on that. He's going to summon another card. And I don't think he's going to do anything else. No, he's going to move that guy forward. Okay. Hey. Now we got a nice little deck going. Not deck. We got a nice little, uh, what should we call him going? Oh, perfect. Hinatoma. Which, in case you didn't know, I'll go ahead and show you guys this. It inflicts 100 damage of life points and stuff like that, so it's great. Um, we'll go ahead and, uh, place this down just like that. Click on it. Face it up. I want to use it. 
How do I use it? How does one use? Oh, well, I must have fucked it up somehow. Okay, so we'll flip it up to face up next time. Because I'm an idiot, and I don't know how to play this game right now. I'll figure it out. It's been a little while since I played, like I said, so... Um, interesting things are going to happen. Alright, we're going to go ahead and flip it face up this time around. Activate its effect and do the 100 damages of life points. Perfect. Alright, and so now we can summon a monster. Draw the other card. It's a water magician. And I wonder if it can go with Mech Mole Monster. Mech Mole Zombie. Does not look like it. Can they go together? I don't know. I can't seem to tell right now. I'm not very good on that. So we're not going to fuck with it. And, uh... Yeah, sure. So, actually, I did not check this yet. Uh, power up cards. Nope, it does not. I don't think this one did either. Alright, so we're good. We're gonna head and... No. No, I gotta get back. I'm gonna head and move this guy... That's a wasteland. This is an aqua monster. Cancel. Dragon. Okay. There's another wasteland. I don't like this wasteland position here, but you know what? Fuck it. Alright, wait, wait. Maybe I do. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Alright. Strategery. Perfect. Remove our guy right there. End turn. Okay, so now we got them in the wasteland, so if they attack us. We won't have to worry, because they won't have their power-ups from being in the forest. Oh, okay. Oh crap, Fairy of the Fountain's gonna get fucked! I didn't realize that I would lose by going into the fountain. Or to the wasteland, rather. So, I ended up getting screwed over. But, we get to watch this hunting spider get the fucking... You know, awesome spitting motion there and kill us so that's always a wonderful story to go back home tell your family about yeah I decided to send out my uh, water demon witch creature thing and it got fucked by a hunting spider and then it did a backflip what the fuck yeah the fairy alright fairy not a witch demon monster creature thing okay yeah that was not a smart move on my decision but you know what? We'll... Yeah, okay. Summoning a monster now. It's 1600. Okay. Um. Okay, maybe... Yeah. Alright, this might work. This might work. Alright, can I move it here? Yeah, I can. Okay, so. There we go. Put it into defense position. No, cancel. No. We're gonna move this over this way, and then we're gonna move my guy back over this way. Can I? I cannot. I cannot move my guy. Okay, whatever. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it, guys. I'll find a way to make things work. Okay, Goblin Secret Remedy. What the fuck does that do? Oh, okay. You gain 1,000 life points back. Okay, cool. Makes sense. Move this guy over here. Summon a car. Put it right here. Perfect. Alright, can you be powered up? No, you cannot right now. Cool. So we'll summon you right there just like that. We'll move this card forward. And I don't think that this card really gives a fuck where it is. So we'll just keep that guy there. And that'll be it. Now that'll be how we end the turn. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, giant police seems to be pretty bad though. Yeah. Why are all these characters so good? They normally aren't this good. Okay, giant flea. It does its sick ass move or whatever the fuck that is. And oh shit, dude! It just shot a lightning. Is that? It's a laser beam. A laser beam of fucking blood. What the hell? Well, my ancient elf is dead, so don't have to worry about him anymore, guys. That giant flea fucked me over. Damn, dude. Okay. It looks like Tiska. This isn't going as well as I thought it would. Wait, it got fucking stronger. God damn it. I should have attacked it. Should have attacked it while it was in the fucking weak stage. But I didn't. Because I thought there was going to be... Fuck, no, I don't want to see this shit. No. I already saw this happen earlier. No! Fuck, all my good monsters are dying. Alright. It's cool. It's cool, don't worry about it. Because we still got one more guy. And hopefully we'll have heart of the cards to save our ass. So. Cool. Cool. What an asshole. Alright, move this guy right over here. Summon a monster set right there. Water girl. Okay. Wait, what is your effect? And turn face up in battle transforms an opponent into a zombie monster. Okay. Don't know how that would help me, but sure, we'll go with it. Okay. Yeah. We summon this dude. No. In defensive position. No, I don't care about that. Okay, cool. No, I don't care about that either. Okay. Giant Scorpion of the Tundra apparently died for him. Cool. Just checking out all the buttons. No, I don't want to surrender, sorry. Um... Alright, so I checked out all the buttons. Screwing around is pretty much what this whole entire episode's about. Um, I'm not gonna win this battle, I don't think. It looks like I'm gonna be uh, fucked over. So, yeah. We've changed its type. And so now it's a tad bit uh, weaker. So, maybe that will save our ass. I know it's gonna get my Wish we'll call him killed by the freaking laser beam of blood, but uh, I really didn't give a fuck about it anyway, so yeah. Oh, time to stretch. Yeah, do your freaking flips and shit. You're pretty cool, you know? Everybody hates you. No one wants you to be in this world anymore. Okay. Okay. Okay, nice. Good moves. Good moves. Okay. Actually, let me check. Alright, so he's a 1500. And I think that, that will be to our advantage. So, what's this? Oh shit. Okay, disposable trap with spell bounds activated enemy card for one turn. And reduces its strength by 800 life points. Okay. Um. Okay, nothing I can see. Yeah. I've got nothing going on for me right now. So, no. I don't want any of that. Can I move him back? Wait a minute. I don't want to move him back. That's a bad idea. Okay. End turn. I don't have a lot of stuff going for me right now. I should have put down the fucking trap card, though. God damn it. Okay, he's gonna get to move close to me, it's cool. Because I know what I'm doing now. I have somewhat of a plan. 
and it requires baiting him, so let's hope that it works. Alright, we bait him there, set the trap card down right there, just like so, and hopefully when he goes to a wasteland, he won't be like super strengthened up because he's a zombie. You know what? No. No, sorry. Sorry, Komori Dragon. This is for the greater good of mankind. You must kill yourself in the giant play. To battle we go! Because I think that giant flea as a zombie would be able to fuck him over. And I don't want to take the chance. Look at that freaking fire! Oh, God. Kill that fucking flea. Yeah. And now the flea says, Time to shoot a laser beam out of my mouth. And it's blood. Oh no, he's sucking the life out of him. Okay, that's what it is. Okay. So he's dead. But thanks to my attack, so is that giant flea. Alright, I should have checked him to see if he had any effects. But I don't think he did. So, they're both dead. Fuck it. I feel sad because I killed my Komori dragon. But I got rid of that fucking flea. So, we'll end the turn now.